working? Yep. Okay. We are here with my honors class on the first day of school. And we're going to do a little demonstration here. Now, I'm going to get you guys involved here because this is what it's all about. We're going to do something called a combustion reaction. Does anyone know what combustion means? Something is going to combust. Chase? You can put the camera on then. It's all right. <laughs> flammability? Kind of. Get the You're close. Out of the way. Tony? It's going to explode. Okay, it's going to be an explosion. A combustion is an explosion. Okay? So anytime you see combustion, think explosion. Okay, so we're going to do an explosion reaction. Now, in order for something to combust, to explode, you need some things to happen. In order for anything to burn, you must have some ingredients or else it won't burn. So what's something that we need to burn? Or what's something that we need to have to be able to burn? To have a fire, Abby? Oxygen. You need oxygen, right? Oxygen is in the air we breathe. That's why you can't have fire in space. There's no oxygen to keep the fire going. Aaron? You heat. You need some type of thing to ignite it, right? So you need something like fire or something hot. So you need um, fire or heat. We'll just go heat. We need a heat source that will ignite it. And then finally, we have the oxygen, we have the heat, but what else do we need? Abby? Something flammable. You need something flammable, right? You can't burn everything. Everything won't burn very easily. So you need something flammable. Now, I have really bad handwriting, okay? You might need a translator for it sometimes. Okay, we're going to do a combustion reaction. The combustion reaction we are going to do involves a couple things. Here's the flammable material. This is called isopropyl alcohol, otherwise known as rubbing alcohol. Okay? So that is our flammable material. The spark will be caused by a match, and the oxygen is in the air, so we're good. Here's the reaction that's going to happen. This is really crazy that this happens when you actually burn something. But the chemical equation is this. This is what happens every, every time you do this. It's scientific fact. Okay? We have oxygen. We're going to have that. Okay? Oxygen is O2. That's oxygen. We're going to add that to this. This is isopropyl alcohol. This is, this is the chemical formula for this in English. Okay? It is CH3, CHOH. These are combined together with a spark. And every time you do that, you get this. You get water, H2O. Water will be made in there. When I burn something, I'll make water. Crazy. And you'll get CO2. Does anyone know what CO2 is? CO2. Kevin? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Correct. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to combine oxygen in this, in there, add a spark, and we'll get water and carbon dioxide. All right? Here's how you do it. This is stuff you cannot buy in the store, although you can buy rubbing alcohol in the store, but not this concentrated. We stir it around like so. You always want to cap the chemicals after you're using them for safety reasons. So I'm doing this. I'm getting it all around on the inside here, like this. Now I'm going to dump the excess out because the vape, vapors are more flammable than liquids. Okay. Someone get the lights really quick. Not yet. I'll give you the signal. I need to put a match on the end of this. I'm not going to stick my face over that. Okay. Okay. Lights, please. Here we go. lights on. <laughs> now look in here. See it's all hazy? Yeah. That's carbon dioxide. See the liquid? That's water. This is water. Right in here. Get a, get a shot of that man. Look at this. You want to drink this Keaton? <laughs> no, not really. You don't want to drink it? Okay. I wouldn't drink it either. But there's carbon dioxide in here. Oh, we just did this nice. reaction right there. Right here. Okay. You can turn it off. 